हेलो गैस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मॉड्यूल थ्री क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच इज सॉल ग्रीड बेस्ट फॉर सच एंड ए स्टार सच एल कर दिस इज फॉर टेन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज द ग्राफ बिहेव दिस टेबल इज यूरिस्टिक वैल्यूज दिस टेबल एंड विल स्टार्ट ए इज द स्टार्ट नोट एंड जी इज द गोल नोट In greedy best for search, we'll take f of n is equals to h of n. So from a, from a there is two child nodes b and c, and it's also called as neighbor nodes. From a to b it will go. So we should take b and c. f of b is equals to h of b. That is six. See this is six. You just take h of b means this value we should take. Then f of c is equals to h of c. You just take value of c is four. We should compare six and four, which is minimum. Four is minimum, so from C we should take the next node. A uh, C child is E, so we'll take f of E is equals to h of E. Heuristic value of E is three. Then again we'll go for next node that is G. For h of G is zero, and we'll see this is goal node or not. Yes, G is the goal node, and we reach the goal. And the path will be A C E G. Next we'll go for A star search. In A star search, we'll take f of n is equals to g of n plus h of n. G of n is the actual cost from the start node to node n. H of n is equals to heuristic value. Start at a, then f of a is equals to g of a plus h of a. G of a for a is the starting node, so g of a will be taken as zero. Then heuristic value of h of a is five, so zero plus five is five. From A, neighbor nodes we will explore. What are the neighbor nodes of A? These are B and C. So first we'll see for f of B is equals to g of G and h of B. G of B we will take as one. In question they didn't mention the cost or uh, path from A to B or A to C. So from we'll take from A to B is equals to one. So that will g of b will be the one. Then heuristic value of b they gave as six. So one plus six is equals to seven. Same as it is for f of c also. G of c plus h of c. G of c will be taken as one only. And the heuristic value of h of c is four. Four plus one is equals to five. We'll compare this both. Which is minimum? F of c is minimum. So from c. We'll see the neighbor nodes. From C, there is only one neighbor node that is E. So we should solve f of E. Your f of E is equals to g of E plus h of E. G of E will be two because see from A to C one, from C to E one. So one plus one two like that will take if it is not given. Then heuristic value of um, E is three. So two plus three five. Then again, we will explore the. From E, we will explore neighbor that is G. Same f of G is equals to G of E plus H of G. So G of three will then f of G is nothing. So zero three plus zero is equals to three, and we reach the goal node. And the path is C first eight C E G. And this is the path. The next question is explain the knowledge base on agent with an algorithm and explain the. Tell and as functions use it for same. The knowledge based agent is a type of intelligent agent that uses a knowledge base to make decisions. It uses a logical reasoning to understand its environment, decide what actions to take based on what it knows. Then the knowledge base is a memory. For agent, it stores facts about the world in the form of sentences. These sentences are written in a special language called knowledge representational language. Example: The sky is blue, or if it rains, the ground will be wet. This is the algorithm. Then the functions of uh, knowledge-based agent tell and ask. Tell is what it adds any new information or sentences to KB. Example: If the agent perceives rain, it uses tell KB. It is raining. Ask is queries the KB to find answers or decides actions. Example: The agent might ask KB, "Is the rain 
is the ground wet and based on KB it infers the answer. The next question is apply the A star search to find the solutions path from A to Z. Heuristics are nodes and cost is the edges. Write all the steps as well as open and close the list for full marks. This is the graph they gave. Black color numbers are heuristic values and red color numbers are path cost. From A, A is the starting node and Z is the goal node. Yeah, Z is the goal node. From A we will start. From A we will start. For A there is B and C are neighbors. A and B are neighbors. So we will find the F of B and then F of B and then F of C. For F of B, G of B plus H of B. G of B is what? Path from A to B is 4. So 4 plus H of B is heuristic value of B is 12. 4 plus 12 is 16. So F of B is 16. Same as it is for F of C we should. Yeah, G of C plus H of C. G of C is what from A to C or what is the value cost 3. And then heuristic value of C is 11. So 3 plus 11 is equals to 14. So compare F of B and F of C. F of C is lesser. So lesser cost. So from C we should expand. Now we will expand the C node. And neighbors of C nodes are D and E. C, D and E. D and uh, E again are same. We should solve the F of D and F of E. For D, G of D plus H of uh, D. So find G of D from A to C plus C to D. 3 plus 7, 10. And the heuristic value of D is 6, 10 plus 6, 16. To find F of E, we should solve G of E plus H of E. G of E is from A to C3, then C to E, 10. So 10 plus 3, 13. Heuristic value of E is 4. So 13 plus 4, 16. Again, we should compare the node E, D and E. So we'll get F of D is minimum, that is 16. So we will again expand the node D. If we expand node D, we will get the node E. This E we will get. Again, Again we, again, we will find the f of e, g of e plus h of e, that is 12 plus 4 will get 16. Uh, again, for e, there will be two nodes, that is b and z. Okay, we will expand, then again we should find f of b and then f of z. If we solve f of b, we will get 36 and we will solve f of z, we will get 17. Again, we will see which is the goal node. We reach it goal node or not. If so, we reach it goal node, that is that is z. So, we will write. And the path is, this is the path we got. How we reach the path from a... A to C, then again C to D, D to E, E to Z. A to C, C to D, D to E, E to Z. Now we will write the open list and close the list. First what we did, we expanded A. So open list what? We will write neighbors B and C. We closed A. That's all. Again we won't see A. Again from C, again from A to C, we will expand again C. We will expand C, then open list for C is what? B, which and all are neighbors, D, E will include in open list. And now C is closed. So, along with A, C will be joined to close the list. Now again from uh, D, we will expand. Mm, again D, we will expand D. Then we will get one more uh, neighbor node, that is E. And E will be in open list and uh, which one we expanded d no d will shift to close the list like that we'll write next question is wampus world we should explain about wampus world and its characteristics and simple knowledge based uh, knowledge base using propositional logic and prove wampus is in room one comma three so read this all the characteristics of wampus world 
and then this is very important we should so we should show that one bus is in one comma three cell okay this is the environment which is one bus world game will play in one comma one and this agent will be there agent will be there if your it is fit then breeze will be there adjacent to it will be there breeze then if air is wampus then snitch will be adjacent to it if it is gold somewhere if here it is gold then adjacent to gold will be there um, glitter like that hmm see environment it is divided a world is divided into four cross four bleed and partially observable deterministic static single agent elements of the world wampus what is wampus it is a monster located in one room if the agent enters the room the wampus with uh, with the wampus it dies the agent will die gold the agent's goal is to find and retrieve the gold snatch means preside in rooms adjacent to the wampus breeze will be adjacent to pets glitter will be adjacent to gold agent's abilities are movement action perceptions okay these are the sentences s1 to means there is a snatch in the cell one to if there is a snatch then adjacent to snatch what will be there wampus will be there yes the b3 comma 4 means uh, there is a breeze in the cell breeze means it will be there n to w to come to means wampus is in the cell to comma to v11 means we have visited the cell okay means it's the cell is safe g means gold this are the rules this rules are very important mm. okay uh, one minute mm. see this is negation symbol this is negation symbol this is and symbol this is all symbol negation of s11 means in s11 there is no snitch no snitch means there will adjacent to this uh, this cell there won't be wampus okay so we will write uh, negation w12 this one and negation 1 1 and then negation 2 comma 1 okay then again negation 2 comma 1 where is the cell 2 comma 1 mm, here is a cell 2 comma 1 if here there is no snitch means one bus won't be there in this this and this cell so negation w 2 1 negation w 1 and negation 2 2 negation 3 1 understood then again what next rule negation one two snatch neg negation snatch one two here okay if here there is no snatch means wampus won't be in one three two two one one and then one two like this then last one is snatch will be there in one comma two one two cell in this cell there is a snatch means Wampus will be in 1, 3 and 1, 1. Here we should write or. Okay, if it there is, it might be there. That is guess like that. Okay, in the cell 2, 2, 1, 2, etc. Uh, these are important inference rules. This is modus bonus. If A, comma A to B, then B. Conclusion is B and introduction means a comma b a and b and elimination means if a and b a elimination will be a comma b we should remove the and symbol modus tollens means negation b comma a to b means a negation a unit resolution means if a or b comma negation b a resolution means a or b comma negation b or c a or c this rules you should remember we should know to solve to prove the wampus is in one comma three using these rules we will this rules uh, we will solve 
first we should apply modus spawn modus spawners using um use apply modus spawners to uh, negation s11 uh, that is rule one okay first we will write this we will write this rule one sentence and then h1 uh, see modus ponus a comma or a a implies b then b we will get this is stink a and this is b okay then again this is a what we will get b we will get this we are understanding see once again i will tell this is s11 is a norm that is a and then imply software that is b again this is f it's matching right this is a and this is a we'll get b we wrote this then again for sec uh, what we should do next we should apply and elimination and elimination means this ands we should remove we'll get negation w1 comma negation w12 comma negation w2 for next next step we should apply modus ponies for s2 and um, rule 2 s21 for rule 2 that is rule 2 we will write rule 2 okay if we same if we apply modus ponies means we'll get this one we will write again we will remove the and eliminate again we will do an elimination method we will remove the and we will get this one then for second also same for apply mod apply mod ponus to s12 that is rule 4 for rule 4 see there will be or operator now in rule 4 we should not apply and elimination we should apply unit resolution this method you see properly okay first we, what we will do we will apply modus ponus for rule 4 so again same we will get this one for this one we should apply unit resolution unit resolution now we will apply uh, for unit resolution we will write this and again negation w11 we will put for this two we will put means this the negation 11 and this 11 will cancel and we will remainder this one again for this and we should apply unit resolution with this and negation of w22 again this w22 and this will cancel and we can remain again we should apply unit resolution with w12 and negation w12 what will happen this negative this w12 and negation 12 will cancel and then w13 will be there this one plus is in 13 ends proved what is w13 if we saw sentence now w13 is what one plus is in cell 1 comma 3 this is how we will prove this thank you guys Please